Hey guys and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this one I'm going to show you how to turn Ubuntu straight into a Windows 7 like theme. Uh, it'll look exactly like it. It'll take about 10 minutes, hopefully less because that's the only time I have. So let's go ahead and begin and get this over with. Uh, first thing we need to get is, these are the things I need to do first. Uh, I need to get Emerald, I need to install Compass Icon, install Docbar X, install Gnome Menu, and install these themes. Basically install all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and begin. Go into System Administrator, Synaptic Package Manager. Uh, we're gonna look for the Emerald. We're gonna look for Emerald, and then the first two options on the top is gonna be Emerald, and then lib Emerald Engine dot or slash Dev. Go ahead and download both of these, and uh, basically click on this little square, and then mark for installation, and then mark for another one for installation, then click Apply, and you're done. After you install that, we're gonna have a new option in our application menu. It's going to be called Emerald, obviously. Now, when this loads, we'll be able to choose a more advanced version of theming um, with a lot more graphics enabled. So, the way we can do this is we're going to need to find a Windows theme, which I already have prepared, and that theme is called Who Needs Windows 7. Uh, we can go into our web browser. I have the link for you underneath. <clears throat> in the information area. Uh, this will be the Who Needs Windows 7. Go ahead and download that. Click here or just wait three seconds to download. And when it pops up, go ahead and click Save. And it'll be saved quite quickly. So when it's saved, go ahead and exit from that window. Go back into your Emerald Themer. Click the Import button on the top right. Go into Downloads and go ahead and click on your Emerald. I've downloaded too because I had to redo the video. But go ahead and download on the Emerald uh, Who Needs W7.Emerald file. And now here it is. We have the Windows, uh, basically the bar on the top there. Now it's activated, but it's not actually working. That's because we need to install the Compass icon so we can switch uh, our window managers. So Compass icon we can find in the Ubuntu Software Center. Basically look up Compass icon and there it is just double click and then click on the install button mine says remove at the moment but click on the install button and it'll, it'll install for you when you're done with that go ahead and go to applications again go into system tools go into compass fusion icon and in the top right in your system tray you will see the compass fusion icon and here go ahead and right click and go we have a bunch of little things we can manage we can do the window manager which is compass and metacity compass options and select window decorator we want the window decorator so go ahead and click on the emerald and our theme will change to the emerald theme we just picked and installed and there we go we have the basics of the windows uh... theme thingy going on but that's not all we have to do we have to do a bunch more next we have to do the um, let's go ahead and do the windows seven windows two seven icon pack next uh... basically go ahead and I, there's a link underneath again in the information there is going to be a website called gnome do and inside it's going to be the windows two seven pack we're going to go ahead and go to the very bottom of the list and click on the download. Of course, wait three seconds or click there to install uh, or to download the actual pack. It will be taken to a website. Uh, when it's done loading, go ahead and click here to start download and go ahead and click save file to save the file. And it'll take some time. And once it's done downloading, we'll go ahead and mess, uh, we'll install it. Alright, so it's done installing and there it is. Let's go ahead and install that as well. And this one is going to be a little, not so hard, but it's, it, you'll see, just follow my directions. We go into our download folder and we will see the Win7 Pack Tar GZ. And here just right click on the, tar, on the tar and extract here. Let's take all the files out so we can mess with them. Uh, now when it's done, go ahead and go into the folder that just came out, which is the Windows uh, Win27 Pack. Inside you'll see the install.sh, right click on that, go into properties, go into permissions and make sure that the allow execution file pro as program is checked. Go ahead and close and now go ahead and right click and open. Run in the terminal and you will be prompted with a little terminal that will tell you everything you need to know. Basically follow the directions, you have a few options here and there uh, to on things to do. <coughs> so I'll show you the idea. Uh, there we go. Please choose a proper architecture. I have a 32-bit, so I'm going to press 1, option 1. It's going to do its thing, and it's going to ask us a few more options here and there. Basically, pick all the Windows-related options. Uh, you can change the login window. You can change a bunch of other stuff. Uh, just go ahead and just pick all Windows-related stuff. 
Next is going to ask us for the username for our personal folder. We're going to put in win7. This is actually my username. Your username will be up here in the corner. It will tell you what it is. Mine is win7 and click enter. Do you want to show mounted volumes? Go ahead and press 1 for true. Uh, what do you want to use? Your web browser icon. For most uh, hardcore Windows users, go ahead and use the Internet Explorer icon. Uh, please select GTK team. Just do the basic or Windows 2. Just pick number 1 again. Uh, and here is now select the panel you want to use. We're gonna depending on what color you want. I'm gonna pick. Uh, let's go 15. Uh, please select the startup logo you want to use. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, Windows 27. Just do the 222. And it'll be done in just a second. And there we go. We've got our stuff down pretty well, and it seems quite nice actually. But we're not quite done yet. Uh, you can go ahead and close the little uh, fusion icon now. Now we have to do is set up the actual theming and look of it. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, just go ahead and right click on the bottom panel and do delete. Make confirm the deleting. Right click on the top panel, go to properties, move that panel to the bottom. Okay, now we have to mess around with a few things. Uh, we have to actually match it with the Windows 7. Go ahead and take off the little login screen or login one on the bottom right. Remove that. Next, we want uh, Windows unlock everything so you can move stuff around. Now, move everything around a bit. I'm using shortcut keys, that's why I'm doing it so fast. Go into properties. Oops, sorry, not properties. Go into add to panel. Look for the desktop icon. Show desktop. We're going to move that to the very right, because that's where the usual icon is. And then lock everything in place. The shortcut for lock is K. Uh, we're going to take these off. Remove, remove. Uh, now we're going to use a program called Docbar X. You can install Docbar X by going into your uh, Ubuntu Tweak. Alright, now uh, when we go into Ubuntu Tweak, go ahead and go into Software Center. Uh, let it update everything just so you can get the latest stuff. Unlock it. Uh, never show this dialog. And inside, click on one of the things here, any of the app, any of the options. Then start typing doc, and there it is, doc bar. Go ahead and check that. I'm already checked. Uh, mine's already installed, but go ahead and check this. And now go into applications, and now you can install the doc bar X to the actual application manager. Uh, we can go again, click on any option, then click or uh, type in doc, and we're going to install the doc bar X right here. And once you're done with that, just check it and click apply. And then we'll have a new application for us. Go into add to panel, and then again look for doc, and there we are. Let's go ahead and get the doc bar X. Uh, let's go ahead and move this to the very end, lock it in place, and now we have this exact uh, doc that uh, Windows 7 uses. You can pin to menu pin application, launch application, and so on and so forth. Uh, we want to make this bar bigger because it's pretty tiny with the icon set. So let's go ahead and make it bigger. I'm going to make it like 42. And there we go. Of course you can make it a different size. I'm going to no, make it smaller. Let's make it 36. There we go. And everything is basically set. Uh, next thing we have to do is get a better menu system. You can of course keep this menu system if you like it. Let's go ahead and get in, uh, get a more Windows appropriate menu system.